Today we are talking about deformers in Maya. What are deformers? How to use them? When to use them? And deformers are pretty interesting thing in Maya. Like you can pretty much uh, use deformers to create interesting objects and some like complex structures. When it comes to like creating a poly modeling, you cannot use uh, poly modeling to create such complex structures. So you can use deformers in such case scenario. So first of all, what is deformers? Now deformers are a set of uh, you can say tools that allows you to you can say manipulate your object in some ways that your uh, normal keyframing or you can say poly modeling cannot uh, and the best part about deformers are they are completely procedural so if you don't like anything about your structure you can say your object you can always go back and change anytime you want so i think this is one of the most like beneficial things about uh, deformers so let's see how we can use deformers now there are a couple of uh, deformers like uh, as if i go to the deform menu in the modeling tool set uh, you'll see that we have tons and tons of deformers but today we are only covering the non-linear deformers these six uh, we also have lattice wrap and jiggle and so on but today we are only focusing on these six deformers we'll be talking about how to use them so let's see uh, i'm going to start off by taking a simple cube and uh, let's bring this up and to scale this and uh, let's start off by the first thing that is a uh, non-linear bend so if i go to the x-ray mode you'll see that as soon as i click on the bend deformer it creates a spline inside my object and this spline is uh, defining the bend deformer and if i go to the bend menu and increase the curvature and curvature basically means the arc or you can say the bendness of your object and these Curvature will allow us to understand how our object is deforming with the bend deformer. Now, if I go out of my extreme mode, you'll see that uh, although the we have created an arc, but our polygon is not exactly bending as it's supposed to be. And the reason is because we don't have enough subdivision. We have only one subdivision. So if I increase the subdivision in height, you'll see that instantly it starts to deform perfectly and uh, deformers requires a little bit of subdivision to make them deform so we don't have to use like a lot of them because after using a deformer you can always press 3 and you can pretty much smooth them or you can add, add a little bit of bevelness to it it totally depends on you uh, now the second thing is you can always go back as i said uh, the procedural thing you can always uh, use the curvature on like negative 90 and you'll have this you can use 180 and you'll have this uh, so there are a lot of ways and if you don't like the direction of this you can always select your spline and hit E to rotate and you can use uh, Sorry select your spline and rotate this and now you'll have pretty interesting uh, Result overall so as you can see you can rotate this and create an interesting looking abstract shape out of this So it totally depends on what kind of look you want uh, now you can always go back and reset it again if you want and uh, we have actually resetted the low bound as well so if you go to the bend deformer you have envelope and which will just control the overall look and then you have low bound and high bound which is basically the starting and the end point if i open up my x-ray mode again and let me just move this around here and if i change this uh, low bound for example as you can see the spline is kind of ending and starting over there and it's completing the overall you can see the 360 revolution of the deformer and if i go to the high bone it's doing the same on the other end now this will help us to pretty much uh, let me just make this one and uh, now let's tweak this again this will just help us to create or you can say as i said deformers allow us to create complex structure that poly modeling cannot or you can say a uh, normal keyframing cannot so you can just pretty much change around the look and overall feel of how you want these deformers to act like and if I just move this uh, cube around you can see that uh, these polygons are kind of like manipulating getting manipulated by those uh, deformers so if I, I don't actually have to like always go back and change my spline and select this and always change my spline and use the curvature if I've set a value of like 180 I can always go back and change my polygons position to get a perfect result so I think that's one of the like good thing that you can do with deformers moving on uh, there's like a lot of ways you can use this deformer you'll go out of the extreme mode I can make a simple plane like this and let's go to deform nonlinear bend 
let's increase the curvature to somewhere around 90 and uh, sorry to 90 and as you can see we have we don't see anything probably because uh, the direction of our arc is wrong and if i hit e on my keyboard to rotate and i rotate it like this simply 90 degrees on my z direction i have a perfect curve going on now i can make this 60 or you can say like 40 to create an interesting you can say the overall skating ground so i think this is one of the interesting thing that you can do with deformers and if you want to like get rid of the deformer once you're done with the shape like for example i'm happy with my shape and i don't want to keep my spline or you can say the procedural i want to like end this and go into the non-destructive -dest uh, mode what i can do is select the model and simply go to edit uh, delete by type and history and that will just get rid of those uh, you can say deformer or spline and now i cannot use any of those uh, special like parameters of bin those are gone so now we are into the destructive uh, mode so now i can just simply hit three and if you want to work on a non-destructive mode you can simply use those spline and keep it as they are and it totally depends on your workflow now moving on let's take another cube let's scale this up and uh, hit space bar or you can also go to deform and non-linear and let's use flare flare is also known as uh, taper in other 3d programs in my it's called flare and this will just allow us to kind of like make a you can say tapered kind of effect so let's see how to use this let's go into the flare and now we have envelope which will just overall the power of the overall effect and then we have the start uh, flare x and z so i'm going to start off by just increasing this value and this will just increase the bottom part of this polygon so let's see and uh, so as you can see as i'm increasing the value this is just increasing the bottom part and as you can see we have pretty nice taper taperness going on around our object so let's uh, we can change the overall end radius and you can see the start radius of this you can control this and i think this is looking nice and you can always go back to the flare and you can change anything that you don't like like 0 0.2 0 0.2 so we have like a pyramid kind of thing going on now so uh, if i don't like if i somewhere i you know somewhat i like mess up my shape i can always go back and like just select your deformers and bring them out and simply delete them and your object will be reset to default so I think that is one of the interesting thing that in case you mess up, you can always go back and change it. And uh, let's see now the next thing. Uh, let's go to deform, nonlinear, and sign. And for the sign, I'm going to make the cube pretty big, something like this. Okay. And if I increase uh, the amplitude on the sign, you'll see this weird looking waviness uh, because sign requires some polygons so i'm going to make everything like 10 and 10 and 10 perfect select my sign again the deformer and increase the amplitude right and right now as you can see we are getting this unusual kind of look and that is because the sign direction is wrong so i'm going to move this somewhere around like this which is minus 90 uh, go back to the sign attributes and just decrease the overall amplitude increase the amplitude and decrease the overall wavelength to somewhere around like 0.1 or 0.2 if you want like more waves and as you can see we have like pretty high uh, you can say high peaks so i'm going to decrease the amplitude somewhere around like 0.1 where it's like normal looking and now we have something like this wavy going on so you definitely have to tweak around and you can say play around with your deformers to get that kind of result that you want and you can use drop off to get a nice uh, drop off going on around the corners like if I use this, as you can see, we have more of the, you can say, amplitude going on in the middle and, sorry, more of the amplitude going on in the middle. And if I increase the drop off, as you can see, those edges, uh, those last corners go, gets more smoother. So I think this is one of the like interesting part of this. And you can always go back and change this however you want. I'm going to increase some more segments on this. Uh, let's make this 20 20 and 20 and if i hit 3 now we have a perfect wavy look going on so i think uh, this looks pretty nice and i can always go back and as i said change the way it looks i can make this something like this 
so i think this is pretty nice moving on let's take another cube and i'm going to go to my deformer let's go to nonlinear and twist before taking uh, using the twist i'm just going to add some subdivisions to it and let's go to the polycube increase the subdivisions on the height let's make it 30 let's make this smaller and taller so i'm going to delete this and select this and add another so i don't have to like move it and now let's see now how we can use this and go to twist and use the start angle and start and end angle will basically control the overall twist of the overall object so i'm going to increase this to somewhere around like 60 and if i go out of my x-ray mode you can see how this is like deforming the overall uh, cube if i make it zero we see no deformness and you can pretty much use the value i'm going to make it 100 or you can say 200 and now we have a perfectly twisted cube so this is looking pretty interesting you can always uh, change the end angle as well you can make this 100 if you want that will just go in the negative value and you can change the high and uh, low bound and high bound to just change the overall twistness if you don't want any twist on the top you can change that and like this you can make the high bound to zero and it will just get rid of the twistness on the top of the object so i think uh, using this high bound and low bound you can perfectly uh, get what you want out of your objects or you can say deformers so this is looking nice all right let's see what we have next And let's make a cube let's make the segment to somewhere around 10 10 and 10 and let's go to deform nonlinear and wave and uh, let's go to the wave and let's change the amplitude and uh, let me just increase my cube somewhere like this and let's go to the wave attributes and increase the amplitude to 0.1 or 0.2 and let's increase the wavelength uh, to probably around 0.2 so as you can see it we have a very low amount of polygons for the wave to actually work now if i show you the overall let's go to the x-ray mode and select our wave as you can see this is what our wave looks like so i'm going to increase the scale of this to get a perfect result and uh, i think i'm going to manipulate this somewhere around like this so only the middle part of the cube is manipulating now i'm going to go to the wave and change the amplitude to somewhere around 0.1 i think this is good enough and let's increase the overall uh you can see subdivisions on the cube and uh, now it's looking quite good let's get out of this and hit 3 to make the model smoother and now we have a perfect wave going on so even though if you can't do a fluid simulation you, you can pretty much create something out of this to make something like fluidy kind of look and you can always go back and change this amplitude and wavelength and you can see you get more and more details out of it and let's change the amplitude and value to one and you can use the offset and drop off to get a nice smoothing edges around this so drop off is actually giving a pretty nice effect around it so you can use this like i'm going to delete the history of this model now and uh, let's bring this right about here okay let's scale this down i'm going to go to my camera and uh, and uh, let's see now so i'm going to change the resolution to somewhere around like 1k and let's go into the arnold let's pause this let's see the occlusion first okay and i'm going to select my camera let's go out of this turn on the film gate and just right about here okay let's lock it and uh, let's select the floor and the cube and i'm going to start uh, like quickly shade this uh, because uh, this is not exactly what you wanted to do i'm just sh showcasing how you can simply use this a deformers to create pretty interesting abstract results so let's take a directional light and let's yes turn off the debug shading let's pause this and let's create something like this 
think this is looking good enough i'm going to go to my annual and take a skydom light and okay so just increase the sample on both the light i'm going to go to my direction light select the samples make it five and then i'm going to select my skydom light and make the samples to five again once you're done with this uh, you can simply start off by shading it now i'm going to select a new material for this i'm not going to name them i'm just quickly kind of like shading them so let's make it one five and let's use something like this and uh, let's select this and i'm going to add a new material on stand surface let's make this somewhere like somewhere like this yeah and uh, i'm going to go to my coat and increase the coat value to one and just add a little bit more roughness to it okay i think i'm going to change a little bit of the color and i think this is looking good enough as i said we can always go back and change anything that we want although we have uh, gone into the destructive mode but i can always create a new cube and add a uh, deformer wave deformer so i think this is looking good and just play around with the different kinds of deformer the deformers are not that complex to understand they are pretty simple uh, the more you play around with it the more you'll get to know how to use them so definitely try uh, experimenting with these and create an interesting look and i hope you like the video and enjoy Music